So uh, this is the magnetic prop balancer that I built. Uh, it's a DIY one. I just got some wood and a bolt and two magnets. Basically, so you've got uh, two bits here and a main rod. The propeller sits like in the middle and uh, because they're conical on the inside it will clamp onto any sort of sized hole in the middle of your propeller. So you, uh, you can buy these on uh, the internet for like a, a few dollars. You just uh, plug that in there like that and you'll see it will just clamp onto the propeller. As you can see this side is floating in the air but uh, it will either be this side, see now this side's floating in the air. You, the reason they have to be sharpened is because there'll be less friction on a tiny sort of sharp area. This screw is to adjust the, the distance between this magnet and the sharp bit there. So this propeller is pretty out, out of balance. So you see what side it goes to. What you would do is you get some tape like this and you would um, put some over the heavy blade. Make sure you're putting it over the, like, the, the leading edge or right, ar around the side, not the back, otherwise the air can get under it and peel off. And, oh, and also keep, keep in mind that the blades themselves might be uh, balanced, but the hub might not be balanced. Like it might be tilt staying horizontally here. So like this side will be heavy and this side will be lighter. So you have to put like a, a lump of glue like I've done here on this side to stop it from uh, doing that. So a reason that you probably want to have your propellers balanced is because, especially on quadcopter when you've got four, four uh, rotors, spinning, all those vibrations are going to be added together. The control board here with all of its sensors on it um, will get really confused. There's a little sensor on it and uh, when there's lots of vibrations it thinks the, the quadcopter is moving around rapidly and it gets really confused and your quadcopter will fly terribly. So make sure your propellers are balanced for that. Another thing that vibrations can cause is motor bearing damage. If you've got a lot of vibration in your motors then the bearings inside will have a lot of strain on them. When that, when you, when they're spinning up, so it also means the difference between good video and bad video. So thank you for watching. If you liked it, leave a like. If you have any questions about this or any vibrations or any questions you want to ask, just leave a comment in the comment section and subscribe for more videos like this.